News. Tonight, people living in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, are surveying the damage from massive wildfires that destroyed their town. Reporter Todd Walker joins us live now from the scene with the latest on the devastation there. And boy, we've seen a lot of it, Todd. Yeah, guys, thankfully it's pretty quiet after a chaotic 24 hours or more than that as this inferno took over this region. Uh, they're expecting another inch of rain overnight tonight, so certainly good news there, and they're just mopping up hot spots right now. We learned today that downtown Gatlinburg, the main economic driver for this very touristy region, was uh, for the most part spared, but the area all around it is pretty much gone. Hundreds of people, including the mayor of Gatlinburg himself, have lost their homes, they've lost their businesses, plenty of other buildings, and pristine forest land. Three people were killed overnight, 14 others hurt, but we know it could have been so much worse as thousands ran for their lives. The inferno in this East Tennessee mountain town is something firefighters and residents had never imagined. All of the previous fires I've been part of could not have prepared me for what we have experienced over the past 24 hours. New video today shows some of the hundreds of buildings that were torched. More than 10,000 people evacuated as the flames ripped through the area. Gatlinburg, nearby Pigeon Forge, and the Dollywood Resort were all evacuated. Cabins and homes are packed onto tiny winding roads and dense trees. The drought conditions in the southeast made conditions ripe to break out of control like they did through the night. Many residents barely had time to get themselves to safety, much less grab their own things. We covered our face with wet towels, and then we finally we got in the car and we drove down the mountain a little ways and we ran into a tree that was over the road so we had to turn around we couldn't see to get back up the mountain. The power went out so it was very dark. The smoke was so thick we couldn't breathe. Um, our eyes were stinging so we just grabbed a blanket and took off running. Hundreds of homes, structures and resorts have burned including a 16-story apartment and hotel building. Firefighters believe the worst may be over. That's little consolation for the tourist town that's now unrecognizable. We're dealing with the worst possible conditions imaginable. So you're looking now at the fire command post, and it's pretty quiet. The firefighters getting their rest after working for more than 24 hours straight. And you may think to yourself, you hear a lot about fires out in the western part of the United States, but not so much here in the southeast. And that's true. The governor of Tennessee came out here to survey the situation, also said that this is the worst fire in more than 100 years in Tennessee, definitely the worst fire on this side of the state. And these roads out here, Carolyn and Dave, are so uh, narrow, so winding up through the mountains that uh, rescuers have not been able to make it uh, to the furthest reaches to see if people were able to make it out okay. So unfortunately, the death toll may still rise. We're live in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I'm Todd Walker, 7 Action News. A lot of thoughts and prayers being sent that way, especially right in the holiday season with people losing their homes. Thank you so much, Todd, for the live report.